Hey, welcome back to Mastering Kingdom Master. I call this tutorial the secret powers of swap and replace. Watch this sample video with me and I'm going to explain it to you as we're watching. So do you notice how all of the items flying on screen are perfectly synced and perfectly in time and perfectly placed? What if I told you that it took me only three or four minutes to make that video once I had chosen my content? And if I had five, seven more items to put in, it would only take a couple of minutes more. This technique is so powerful. This isn't the only place to use it, but it's a great example. Like my content and subscribe. You're gonna wanna find out how to do this awesome technique in KineMaster 5. See you on the other side. Let's start our new project. And if you don't know, you can set the photo duration. Two seconds is really good for a slideshow like this. Let's do that. Now we're gonna put a black background as the clip. It's not gonna be seen. It's because we're working with layers in this. Now let's go ahead and grab our first layer. And I've stored these all in my favorites. That's a really easy way to organize it. I'm going to place my scuba diver now and scale them up. Scaling and positioning this right and the first word right is important because those placements are going to be used for all of your images. So make sure you get your sizing right. Now we're going to use our thumbs to stretch our timeline out really as far as we can because we're going to be placing keyframes that are only a couple of hundred milliseconds and you want to see that number on the playhead. Now we're going to place four keyframes. Select your layer, open the keyframe menu, place your first keyframe at 200 milliseconds, the second one at 1800 milliseconds, and the other at the end. If you're off by one or two milliseconds, it's not that big of a deal. These are static keyframes. Place them before we move anything. And now we're going to pick up and move the image, but only on the first and last keyframe. The middle two do not have a movement. The first keyframe moves far to the right and then go all the way to the far end. You can use the keyframe navigator and then pull that one off to the far left hand side. So you only have the two keyframes have any motion. Now for the rest of the project, we're going to navigate using the keyframe navigator to make sure our playhead is exactly on the spots that we want. We've got ourselves to 200 milliseconds, which is where the word starts. So we select our word out of our menu and now we go ahead back to the scuba image and we navigate to the third keyframe and then we go ahead and we trim the word down to the 1800 mark and now we've got the word and we want to set it to its resting position we turn on the green screen here I'm gonna scale it down a little bit I like putting it in the corner but this is before we've done any animation on the scuba word itself and now we're gonna go ahead and add keyframes to the scuba word and now we're gonna add our four keyframes frames to the scuba word. This time we're going to start with the second one being at 400 because it's 200 plus 200. And the third one is at 1600 because it is 1800 minus 200. And then we put one at the end and we are good to go. And now we've got our keyframe place. Remember, we're going to move only our first and last keyframe. We're going to put the scuba at the top there. I like this fly down behavior. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the last keyframe where it's going to fly away and we're going to pull it off all the way over to the side there. And now watch your animation. Watch it a couple of times because you're not going to be able to change it once you start duplicating it. And if you like it, let's get moving forward. Now the duplicate and replace magic starts. Select your picture, go to the keyframe menu, and navigate to the third keyframe point. Now go up to the duplicate menu, make a duplicate copy of it. Once you have your duplicate, long press and drag your duplicate copy to the playhead and let go. Now we select the duplicated image and we go to this folder icon and that opens up our media library to allow for a replace. So we go in and we select the image that we want to swap it out with. The puppy, we put that in there. Check it out. The keyframes are still in there. That's what makes this so powerful. Now you're going to duplicate your label just like you did with your image with the duplicate menu. And then you want to navigate with the keyframes of the image to the second point. And that's where you want to drag your label down to. Now you go ahead and go into that same folder to replace. Go ahead and find your label. And the awesome thing with this is green screens are maintained as well as all other properties. I'm going to speed the final video up because from here it's just repeat this process as many times as you want. You use your keyframe navigator to get to the right place, duplicate, drag the item, whether it's the label or the image, go into the swap and replace, swap it out with the correct one, and the last piece of it is you want to rearrange your layers and bring the words forward when you get to that point. That is everything to this technique and here is a final 
sample of the final product I have here. So I hope you found that cool. Now for me, I know that in this specific behavior of the slideshow with the moving words, it's incredibly useful. But I also think in my mind, where else can I use this? Because I literally just learned this. This is only available in KineMaster 5. Just figured it out, sharing it with you guys. So it's your turn to do something cool. If you like my content, like and subscribe. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, anything, put them in the comments below. I always get back in touch with you. And I will see you the next time. Get out there and make something awesome with KineMaster, the best mobile video platform for editing out there. <laughs> Can't master.